Hi everybody, this is C3 Readings and today this reading is going to be for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the month of November. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you Taurus for the month of November. This is for Taurus. Let's see. Taurus, check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. In the extended, we will see how's your person feeling about you, the outcome of the situation between the two of you, future energies, advice, oracle messages, love notes, as well as uh, messages from your person. So do check it out. It is going to be linked below for you, Taurus. Let's see what messages. Okay, okay. interesting we have page of pentacles ten of wands and the four of pentacles i see you being focused on yourself but there is something weighing you down energetically there is something that might be burdening you some of you might also be saving money the chariot it's like you're holding back right now because you think that there is not much that you can do. And I feel like you've been disappointed, um, even though you still would like to work on this connection with this person or whatever situation is. I feel like you, you got disappointed and that disappointment is burdening you. We have the King of Wands, the King of Swords. Oh, damn. The Two of Cups. Page of Cups, Five of Cups. There you are. I see your focus being a lot on your work, by the way. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. Uh, Taurus, you could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and other Taurus. Possibly Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer and Libra are evidently here with Taurus. So it looks like um, Taurus that you're holding back, okay? You're holding back. It's like you're trying to make that decision. Um, some of you are saving money as well. A lot of you are heavily focused on your work, on your money. Okay, I see you working hard. Um, it's like you're very determined to achieve something in terms of your financial goals or other things in life other than love. Um, yeah, your, your whole focus is on something else other than love right now because maybe in love, you feel like you did put effort in, but it wasn't well reciprocated. But we do have the Knight of Swords, which is somebody possibly rushing in. The person that you're dealing with, I feel like th there was somebody over here who gave you mixed signals. So maybe they made it seem like, yes, it was going somewhere, but all this time it wasn't going anywhere. You know what I mean? So that kind of an energy. Uh, and we do have the King of Swords as well. I feel like this person like detached or went cold on you okay I do get that kind of an energy where somebody went cold on another person here and that wasn't you okay it's like you were willing to offer this person love but then you took it back you took a step back from it Okay, we do have the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups here. I do feel like there is going to be a reconciliation here. This person is also somebody who has other options or somebody who's very desirable. They might have that kind of a persona maybe if, you know, if they're not like that. But there is a certain situation. I feel like you got disappointed here. I see disappointments. Um, you feel like this person disappointed you or whatever you were expecting wasn't there. Again, the Page of Cups and Two of Cups is some energy that you are not very aware of. So it does look like there is love coming in for you. Um, but you're because you're not focused on it, you're not really focusing that there might be, you know, a possibility that you might get back with this person. We do have the Six of Swords and the Justice. So moving away from the situation, even though it is hard for you, seems to be the right thing to do right now. Um, I feel like you're trying to get back on track. You're trying to get balanced um, in your thoughts, in your life in general, trying to focus on other things. I see you in a very decisive energy, okay? So it's like if one thing didn't work out for me, so what, you know? 
I do think that you're trying to walk away from the situation, um, even though it's not easy. It's not easy. But the thing is that you were expecting something, but that didn't happen. Let's see. The seven of wands. Again, you know, um, four of wands. Again, you know, I feel like you were definitely expecting more stability out of this. You were expecting... Um, more out of this you know than this person i feel like this person didn't put in enough effort to make it work with you and there was a lot of resistance in the energy to make it work in the first place with the four of wands um there is love here i feel like that this love is more so on your part let's get your person's energy give me give me energy for the person Taurus is dealing with I do feel like Taurus you still have love for this person but it's like you got disappointed and now you don't want to be putting a lot of effort into something that continuously disappoints you your person's energy ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles okay this is somebody who maybe yeah I feel like they were keeping things stuck with you somebody maybe gave you a false hope here they would be very in and out of the situation. Again, this is somebody who's not willing to give up on their personal freedom to give you a commitment or to take things forward with you. This is somebody who does see potential of a new beginning with you, but they're not offering you that. The star. Somebody here sees another person as their wish fulfillment. I feel like Taurus, this person, you're very desirable here. This person does, you know, feel a lot for you. But again, there's that energy where this person is constantly distancing themselves after showing you something that, you know, maybe this relationship can go here. And then they take a step back from it. We also have the lovers here. So there is love. There is willingness to get back on track. I do see a twin flame soulmate kind of a connection here. Um... Maybe this is something that has been happening for a while. You know, you, you this relationship has gone through its own ups and downs. But again, you know, see, there's a lot of like uh, healing going on that I see. Some of you are looking forward to a new opportunity as well. <clears throat> because when you look back, you think that, you know, you don't want to be wasting time. And it's like, it's almost like you were expecting something. But now you, yeah, with the Hermit and the Ace of Wands, it does look like... It took a lot of time, okay? And then you kind of realize that because I'm not getting what I want, why should I stick around? I feel like moving away is that hard choice that you're making. Tell me more about this tower. Why is that tower card here for Taurus? We have the Hermit again. So either this was like, it looks like things were going smooth but then that tower moment came in this relationship which is again yes something came to an end here five of wands oh my god from being all lovey-dovey towards one another it just like went downhill there could be involvement of other people as well but either this person completely ghosted you or they seriously hurt you in terms of like you felt neglected by this person taurus um, and then, you know, you realize that maybe I don't need to be sitting here waiting for this person to act right. Maybe I need to move on from this. Something did come to an end here. And for a lot of you, because you were living in that, you know, kind of like that la la land, <laughs> um, that I want this from the situation, that I want this from the connection, um, and because it, I feel like things went downhill. I don't know. Either this person ghosted you or they just no explanation whatsoever. And you were kind of like left there with no answers. And now you're looking back at the situation being like, is it even worth it? You're contemplating a lot. The signs that I hear are Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Libra, Taurus, Cancer outcome we have the sun and the hangman so i still see you two dealing with one another by the way um again this person does feel good with you they feel happy they feel yeah they feel a sense of balance with you but again you know taurus there is that energy where it will take time to get somewhere stable until then i see you 
moving towards your happiness i do see money coming in for you i've seen new opportunities in money there is some sort of a wish fulfillment that you will have again there is also that you know maybe you're working towards a new project when it comes to money i still see this person sticking around it's not completely over tell me more about yeah i did see the high priestess tell me more about this knight of swords for taurus two of wands and the this person's not letting you go for a lot of you this person's looking forward to communicate with you they might even be wondering what what happened here that you went silent on them i do feel like this is this person's not giving giving up on this yet but you're hopeless you feel like there's nothing that's coming out of it you know a lot of you are trying to look forward it's like you're trying to look forward but then you know there is that energy still lingering on from the past okay i do see uh i do see you two coming back together again because this person's not giving up <clears throat> But I see you thinking and contemplating more this time around. Maybe the way you approach the situation has changed. The rest we will clarify in your extended, so do check it out. It is going to be linked in the description box for you. In the extended, we will see how is your person feeling, what are they thinking, what is the outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes, um, as well as self-love notes and messages from your person. So do check it out. It is going to be linked below. For further clarifications, let's see what fell on the floor. Your commitment is being tested. Why do I get that this is a soul, uh, soulmate twin flame kind of a deal? Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, I do feel like your dreams are coming true. You are in alignment, you know, with that energy where you can make things happen for yourself. But again, some of you might be feeling like things are a little bit rough in your life right now. A new romantic cycle begins, you moon uh, in Libra. And then we have believe in the impossible as well. So again, you know, you are not really having faith in the connection. You're not really having faith that this will go somewhere. However, I do see this picking up pace again. And again, with your life, believe in the impossible, Taurus. Um, so anything can happen. Anything can happen. It might even shock you. Let's see, what are the messages for Taurus and their person? What are the messages for Taurus and their person? What are the messages for Taurus and their person? Okay, so we have express your love, get, ooh, see? Soulmate. This is a soulmate kind of a connection. Uh, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, getting to know each other. As you as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Again, I feel like you never really got to know this person fully. You never really got to know what was really going on in their heart. So that is where this kind of, you know, disappointed you because... Uh, and a lot of you are having a hard time moving on from this because you might be seeking closure. But again, I do feel like there's somebody who's going to be expressing love um, to you. Okay. Give me energy for the person Taurus is dealing with. What is their energy? What is their energy? The person Taurus is dealing with. What is their energy? Oh my God reconciliation and heart-to-heart -heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other and someone from your past is returning to your life again taurus i do feel like this person oh damn this person is very determined to make things work with you this person is very determined to talk it out with you they're not letting you go they're not letting you go but i would just say keep your expectations on low because you know calling in your soulmate we have a lot of soulmate cards they also feel very connected to you but i feel like at times this person has a hard time really you know um deciding where is it going so yeah that's about it those were the messages that popped out for taurus give this video a like and subscribe to my channel check out the link in the description box 
it is going to take you to the extended in the extended we will clarify more for your person like i said i'm also going to clarify the soulmate connection what's coming in love for you in the future where's this relationship going advice or messages, love notes self-love notes messages from your person all that extra stuff so do check it out it is going to be linked below take care and bye, -bye.